Hello. Today we are going to be doing a limb strengthening and lengthening class. Just move this table out of the way. So, yeah, if you've got a strap or if you've got a um, with these things that you put around a dressing gown, those dressing gown straps, that will, that will do. So we're going to start, let's start in a nice, nice easy seated posture. And use whatever music that you like as well. You've got the playlists there to choose from. So these out of the way. So come to, as I said, nice, comfortable, easy seat, using support underneath the hips, such as a block, cushion, bolster, even rolled up blanket. And just start coming into your breath. yourself to find your breath and simply observe the closest sound that you want to observe is your breath maybe you can expand your your sense of hearing a little bit further beyond the space that you're in right now into the far distance. And then bring it back here. Okay, let's reach the arms up, take a breath in. Kiss the hands into prayer. And as you breathe out, guide your prayer into your heart space. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. Take a moment to send down words of affirmation and love and kindness to your unborn baby or your unborn babies. Strengthening our breath and our energy towards our heart on our in-breath. And directing that energy down towards our womb. Let's do that again. Deep breath into the heart space. And breathe down towards your womb. The space holding life. Again, breathe into the heart. And send that life force energy all the way down to your baby. Let's release the hands. Let's just bring the chin down to the chest and rock the head from side to side. Nice and gentle. Maybe acknowledge if one side feels tighter than the other. Maybe see if it feels better or it feels good to hold the head on one side for a moment. Take some cleansing breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then the other way if you're holding. Let's bring the chin to the chest. Breathe in as you lift the head all the way up. Give it that length down the front of the neck. Breathe out, guide your chin to your chest. Find the length along the back of the neck. Breathing in, lifting the head up. Breathing out, chin down to chest. One more, breathe in. And breathe out, chin to chest. And come to centre. Just a gentle breathing exercise again. If you're feeling clogged up or bummed up at the moment, I will give you another exercise to do afterwards. Um, but we're going to start by taking alternate nostril breath. So we're going to bring the left hand onto the tummy 
and we're going to close the right nostril with our thumb. First two fingers are going to rest on the forehead and then the fourth finger of the right hand is going to rest on that left nostril. So what we do first is we're going to breathe in through the left side, so breathe in through the left and breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right and breathe out through the left. So that's one round. Breathe in through the left. Breathe out through the right. Breathe in through the right. And breathe out through the left. And just keep going through that at your own pace. If you're congested, just have the palms facing up or down or rest them at your baby and you can just close the eyes and visualize the breath moving in through the left nostril, out through the right and in through the right and out through the left, in through the left, out through the right. In through the right, out through the left. In through the left, out through the right. In through the right, out through the left. Now let's do one more round. Breathe in through the left. Out through the right. In through the right. And out through the left. Releasing the hands down to our legs. And just give our shoulders a roll. Returning to normal breath. Still being the observer of your breath. Remembering that anything that comes to us, um, comes to mind, any thoughts, it's neither good nor bad, neither right nor wrong. It's just information. Okay, and let's extend both legs out in front of us. Making sure you're stable, with the support underneath the hips, just give the ankles a roll. Oops. <laughs> and then the other way. And then we're going to just set both soles of the feet on the floor and sit up nice and tall. Reach the arms forward with the palms facing up. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, bring the hands back towards the shoulders. Get a stretch along our triceps, so right here. Breathe in, reach forward. Spine nice and long. Breathe out. Hugging your baby in. Breathe in. And breathe out. And we're going to add some pelvic floor work into this. We're going to breathe in, lift the pelvic floor. So lift up the front and the back passage. Breathe out, let it go. Breathe in. Lift the pelvic floor. And breathe out. Three more this way. Breathe in. And out. Two more. Inhale. Shoulders soft. Exhale. One more. Lift the pelvic floor on that breath in. And breathe out. And give those arms a rest. Give the shoulders a roll. We're going to do that the same, but take the arms out to the sides. So palms facing up. Still keeping the legs still. Deep breath in as you reach, opening through the heart, back of the neck long. Breathe out, let that pelvic floor release and relax. Breathe in, lift the pelvic floor open. Breathe out, relax it down. Three more, breathe in. And out. 
two more, breathe in, and out, last one, breathe in, and out, and release the hands down, give the shoulders a roll, roll, okay, we're going to just do one last little bit of work on the arms without adding any resistance. So we're going to start with our, um, have the hands in fists, so I'm actually going to face this way, so you can see me. Still being nice and stable upon the earth. Hands at fists, and we're going to squeeze, keep the elbows in line with the sides of the waist. We're going to take a deep breath in, so we squeeze all the way back. Breathe out, pull back in. And we're going to hold the pelvic floor here, breathe in. Breathe out, release the pelvic floor and squeeze. Breathe in, take the arms back, lift the pelvic floor. Breathe out, release pelvic floor and squeeze the arms. Two more, breathe in. And out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And release the hands, give the hands a shake. Lovely. All right, from here, let's just take a, a gentle open twist and turn back around. <laughs> so keeping the legs how they are, we're going to have the um, right hand on the right knee. If you've got a block or support, have a block on your left. And we're just going to take a twist over our left leg, but make sure we've still got the same hand as leg as well. So lifting through the torso. What you might want to do to add a little bit more length here is straighten the left leg and flex the foot on an in-breath and point the toes on an out-breath. Let's do three more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. This additional leg work is optional as well. Two more. Breathe in. And out. Last one, breathe in. And out. Lovely, let's swap sides. So lift the left leg up. Just start with both legs bent. And then you can add a leg in if you would like to. So just make sure you feel nice and comfortable. You're opening through the heart. We're lengthening through the crown of the head. Option, straighten that right leg. Take a breath in, flex the foot. The knees remain soft. Breathe out, point the toes. Breathe in. If you're flexing the foot now, think about the length of the back of the right leg. And as you breathe out, thinking about the length of the front of the leg. Three more. Breathe in. And out. Last two. In. And out. Last one. In. And out. Okay, bring that right leg all the way back up. Let's bring the soles of the feet together. Using support as always underneath the knees if you need to. Blocks as well, optional. Bricks, books. Right hand comes out to the side. We're going to lengthen through the left side of the waist. Drawing the left hip down. If this is too much on your shoulder or if the arm gets achy, bring the hand behind the back. We've got three breaths. Think about that pelvic floor as well as you breathe out, just relax it. Breathing in. And out. Breathing in. And out. And coming back to centre. Swapping over sides. Reaching over to the left for three breaths. Leg down the right side of the body, breathe in, lift pelvic floor. Breathe out, relax anything that you feel is you're holding tension with. So that could be the shoulders, breathe in, maybe the jaw. Breathe out. Maybe the ankles or the toes, breathe in. And out, and come back to the center. Well, let's come on 
onto your hands and knees now. So take the feet over to one side, hands go over to the other, and then come onto all fours. Now we're just going to rock from side to side. And take some little circles of the hips. And just let baby hang out in the hammock of your tummy at the moment. And let's go the other way. take some cat cow. So as always you can use blocks underneath forearms. If you've got any wrist nibbles or come onto your wrists, um, your fists. We're going to take a breath in as we round through the back. Gaze towards your baby. Tuck the bottom in. Breathe out. Lift the tailbone. Reach the heart forward and gaze up. Breathe in. Round through the back. And then breathe out. Three more, breathe in. And out. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And last one, breathe in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Lovely. And take a moment just to sit back onto the heels in child's pose and give those wrists a roll. Or you can stay on your forearms <laughs> if, um, if baby's already quite big. <laughs> just make sure you're comfy. So if you are before 22 weeks um, and as long as baby's not already engaged, Go ahead and take a downward facing dog. Keep the feet nice and wide apart. If you are beyond 22 weeks, um, and especially if baby is already engaged, let's take puppy dog pose instead. So reach the arms forward and lengthen through the back of the neck. So wherever we are, we're just gonna take a sway from left to right. Make sure we're drawing our tummy buttons back to our spines and we're really, really hugging our baby in. Or your baby in. <laughs> and we're keeping the head nice and soft. Maybe give the head a little shake, yes and no. And then let's all meet back on hands and knees in our four point kneeling posture, tuck in the toes and walk the hands back to the knees, you guys know what to do set the soles of the feet onto the floor hands up onto the thighs, take a sway from left to right and take a breath in, round through the back big stretch as we lengthen the back of the spine as we breathe out, release the tailbone backwards, reach the heart forward, gazing up, finding that length through the front side of the body. And let's roll up, vertebra by vertebra, coming all the way up. And the arms lift, take a deep breath in. And out. Lovely, again, breathe in. And out. Last one, breathe in. And out. Okay, let's bring the feet hip width apart. I'm just going to face you. And we're going to soften into the knees. And we're going to have one hand on baby at all times. Reach the left arm up. Take a deep breath in first. Breathe out, reach over to your right, lengthening that left side of the waist. Breathe in. Breathe out, take it over again. Breathe in. And breathe out. 
and come back to centre, let's swap sides. So right arm lifts, deep, deep breath in. Breathe out, reach over to the left, shoulders soft, breathe in, knees bent, breathe out. Last one here, breathe in, and out, and come back to centre, lovely. Straightening up the legs without locking the knees. Let's just allow the head to, the head to hang a little bit, look forward to dropping the chin to the chest. And then roll the head over to that right shoulder. Maybe we take a little lean over to the right. And then we roll the chin through chest and roll over to the left. And then just rolling, rocking from side to side just to get a little bit more space through the top of the back. back to centre. Cool. Standing at the back of our mats, taking a lengthening and a strengthening sun salute today. So remember feet are hip width apart or wider. I'm just going to click my knee I think. Nope, maybe not. <laughs> so take a breath in, reach the arms all the way up. As you breathe out, bring the hands onto the thighs. Let's do that again. Breathe in, lift up, push through the earth. Breathe out, hands onto the thighs, bend the knees. Three more, breathe in. Breathe out as we start to fire up the legs. Two more, maybe you can take it a little bit deeper. And breathe out. Last one, breathe in. And out. Hands onto thighs, walk the hands down the legs, onto the floor, and walk forward onto hands and knees, rock from side to side. From here, um, if you need to use cushioning underneath that left knee, uh, please do. We're going to extend the right leg away, and we're going to flex, can you turn this way? <laughs> we're going to flex the foot. And see if we can rotate downwards, so you're trying to draw the baby toe down towards the floor. Now I'm going to take three circles. One, two, three, and the other way. For one, think about that length. Two, three, and then guide that right foot to the outside of that right hand. I'll move my instruments out the way. As always, if you need to use support, you can use block or bolster underneath the hands here. And let's just rock from side to side, maybe take some circular movements through the hips. If you click, that's cool, as long as it feels good when you click. Just creating that space. And let's go the other way. Pushing through the legs, we're going to bring the ha right hand onto the right thigh, push through the legs and see if you can straighten this right leg and flex the foot. This is where if your left knee is sore, um, either opt out for this next bit or use some support. So we're going to take a deep breath in as we reach the arms all the way up. Breathe out, bring the arms down, really hug your baby in here. Breathe in and lift, flexing the right foot, squeezing the left butt cheek. Breathe out. Three more, breathe in. Push the top of that back foot down into the earth. Breathe out. Two more, breathe in. And out. And in. This time as we breathe out, bend into that front leg, bring the hands back onto the floor. 
and take the right leg back, rock from side to side. Okay, let's do that all on the left hand side now. So extend your left leg away. Remember you've, got the, you've always got the option to keep the foot on the floor if you're not feeling um, doing too much today. Flexing the foot, we take three tiny circles. Here's one, just breathe fluidly. Two, three, and go the other way. One, two, three. Reaching it all the way back, lengthening through the crown of the head. Guiding that left foot forward to the outside of the left hand using support underneath the hands if you need to and take any free movement that feels good. If you're taking circular motions, let's just go the other way around, other direction. And finish this last breath of movement. Pushing into the legs, left hand comes up on top of the left thigh, push all the way up, squeeze this right butt cheek, legs want to be 90 degrees, especially this back leg. And then we're going to straighten the left foot. Feels weird on one side, I don't know why. Lengthening through the front of this right leg, we're going to reach the arms all the way up, take a deep breath in. Breathe out, bring them down. Breathe in a lift. Flexing the left foot, breathe out, bring them down. Three more, breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, bring them down. Two more, inhale. Let it out with a nice sigh. One more, breathe in. And as you sigh out, bend into the front knee, bring the hands onto the floor, take that left leg back, rock from side to side. And your option here is to take that puppy dog pose from before, so just reaching the arms out in front, keeping the knees down, or take child's pose, or before 22 weeks, as long as you're not engaged, your baby's not engaged, head back into a down dog, bending the knees, Creating space for baby. Three breaths. Okay, meeting on hands and knees. Take your time, walk the hands back towards the legs, tucking the toes, and come back halfway, take a sway from left to, left to right, and then still the legs as you take a breath in, round through the back, breathe out, release tailbone, reach the heart forward, gaze up, and then come up vertebra by vertebra. Reach the arms nice and high, deep breath in, and release hands down. Lovely. Let's do one more round of that. So, backs of the mats where we are. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms all the way up. Breathe out, bring the hands down onto the thighs. Again, breathe in, lift. Breathe out, hands onto the thighs, bend those knees, tuck the bottom. Three more, inhale. Exhale, two more, breathe in, and out, last one, inhale, now as we exhale we're going to walk the hands down the legs, and take the knees out wide, pop onto hands and knees, rock side to side. Popping the weight into that left foot, we're going to extend the right leg away. Now option to add on here, as long as you're rounding through the lower back and you're opening through the top of the back, maybe see if you can take arm and leg away, three circles one way with that right leg, here's two, three, and 
the other way, flexing or pointing the foot. Two, three, left hand comes down, right foot floats to the top of the mat, outside of the hands, take some free movement here, remember, blocks, or anything that you want to use underneath the hands you can. Let's go the other way. Lovely. Right hand onto the right thigh. Lifting up, straightening the front leg. Reach the arms up. Deep breath in. Squeeze the left butt cheek. Breathe out. Come down. Breathe in and lift. Breathe out. Come down. Three more. Inhale. Lift. Exhale, last two, inhale, exhale, really reach those arms back, last one, breathe in, and as you breathe out, bend into that front knee, bring the hands back down onto your mat, take the right leg back, rock from side to side. This time let's take the left leg behind. Option, add the right arm into this. Circle that left leg one way for three. Keep breathing, two, one. And the other way, keep hugging your baby in. Here's two, and one. Right hand comes down onto the floor. Float the left foot forward. Take that movement. Nice and slow. And the other way. Okay, pushing into the feet, we come up onto that right leg, flexing the left foot, straightening the leg. Reach those arms all the way up, squeeze your right butt cheek, breathe out. Be mindful not to find yourself collapsing through this leg though, so really lift. That's why we squeeze that butt cheek so that we can get that control of the pelvis. Three more, breathe in and reach. <sighs> Let it go. Last two, inhale, lift. Exhale, flexing that front foot. Last one, breathe in, really reach all the way up. And breathe out, bend into that front knee, hands come down onto the mat. Left leg steps back. Take your child's pose or your puppy dog pose or downward facing dog. Remember, down dog only before 22 weeks, as long as baby's not already engaged. Relaxing the head and the neck, the shoulders, wherever you are. Three more breaths. All right, all reaching on hands and knees. Take a moment, and when you're ready, Start walking the hands back towards the legs. Setting the soles of the feet on the floor. Coming up halfway, rock from left to right. And take a breath in, round through the back. Breathe out, release the tailbone backwards, reach the heart forwards and up as you gaze up. And then round all the way up. Reach the arms, take a breath in, and hands come through to prayer heart space. Brill, give yourself a shake out. If you've got your strap, um, just grab it so it's near you, and then I'm going to bring you over here, so you can see me. So we're going to find some wall space. We're going to stand with 
our right side, move this chicken, <laughs> with our right side uh, against the wall. So we've got the wall in our right hand and we're going to keep the soles, the soles of the feet flat and the knees are soft as well. Very, very important, we don't want to lock, don't want to lock the knees. So if you've got a strap, you don't have to use it, but it might be nice to use just to take the pressure off the knees. So we're going to take hold of our left foot either with our hands or we're going to use a strap and just loop it, loop the strap around the foot and lift it up. Softening into this right knee, tuck the tailbone in and see if you can grow through the crown of the head. Give the toes a little wiggle on the floor and really, really hug baby in here. You may want to even give a go at having a balance and bringing hands onto baby and lift and lengthen. So we're lengthening through the body. We're getting a lengthening stretch down the front of that left leg. And we're also strengthening through this right leg as well. Two more breaths. Okay, release right hand onto the wall if you took it away. And just start unraveling the strap away or just let go, let go of that left foot and rock from side to side. Okay, from here we're gonna take uh, we're going to do that again, um, but we're going to do it on our left. So, feet hips width apart, either loop the strap around your right foot, or if it's available to hold onto that right foot, do. Keep the left knee soft, tuck the tailbone in, and lift up through the heart. So if you find that you're, if you find that you're rounding through the back at all, just try and lift yourself as much as possible. Maybe taking that left hand onto baby and finding a little bit more length and strength. We've got five breaths. Here's one. I'm gonna face you. Two. Left knee soft, remember. Three. Relax the shoulders, relax the face. Four. And five. Bringing that left hand back onto the wall. Releasing the right foot down and give the legs a little shake again. Maybe give the hips a roll. And then we're going to turn to face against the wall and take a down dog against the wall. So bending the knees, not too much. Remember, um, if you were here for the last one we, when we did wall work, we don't want to be too enthusiastic or pull our chest down. So really, really lift up through the body, hug your baby in and just rock from side to side. Maybe even bend into the arms a little bit. Take some rolls at the hips. Let's go the other way. Okay, from here, we're going to step a little bit closer towards the wall. I'm going to take hold of that strap once again, and we're going to loop it around our right foot. So just keeping tailbone tucked down so we're not arching. Bend into the knee. We're going to take dancer pose. So we're going to keep the left hand on the wall, unless you want to give it a go at bringing the left hand onto the hip. We're going to tip forward. 
and push your right foot into the right hand or into the strap. So bringing, oops, sorry, <laughs> bringing the body forwards, reaching away, and finding that strength through that left leg. You may want to reach that left arm all the way behind. Three more breaths. Here's one. Two. Three. Pushing through that left leg all the way up. Use the wall for support and release down and take a rock from side to side. Now in between sides, you can always just take a little rock, or if you want to get some more arm strength into it, you could take some mini wall chaturangas. So just getting a little bit more strength into the upper body. So just take a breath in as you press up. Breathe out, push away. Breathe in. Breathe out, pushing through the fingers. Keeping the elbows close towards each other so we're not opening the elbows out. Let's do one more. Breathe in. And breathe out. And let's come on to our other side. So weight into the right foot. Loop the strap around the left foot or take hold of it. Tuck tailbone in. Hug baby in. Soften that right knee. And tip forward. Option hand on the wall. Or right hand comes to the hip. We've got five breaths in total. Push and kick that left foot backwards into whatever support you've got. Here's two. Maybe reach the right arm away so the right arm is coming straight. Here's three. Four. Five. Using the wall for support if you need. Right hand comes back onto the wall and release the left foot down. Have a little rock side to side. Facing the wall. And then take those three press ups if you want to. So you can stay here if you want to or step a little bit closer. Breathe in and out. Breathe in, and out. I wish it was this easy when I did a proper press up. <gasps> One more, breathe in, and out. And just give yourself a shake out. And make your way back onto your mat. Bring you back here. And we're gonna stand right at the back of the mat. I'm going to take a deep breath in, reach the arms up. Breathe out, bring the hands onto the thighs, bend the knees. Take a breath in, round through the back. And breathe out, walk the hands down, onto your mat. And rock from side to side. From here, taking hold of any support that you've got. We're just going to place that in between the legs, just past the knees so we can sit back here. And if that's still too uncomfortable, um, just come onto your bottom um, with the soles of the feet on the floor like we started um, before. So with support, like this. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologise. So with something underneath your bottom, soles flat on the floor. All right, take a breath in and just roll the shoulders a few times. Lovely. And from here, we're going to 
Um, let's just come on to our bottom. So if you're, if you're on your bum, we're just going to meet you there. So come on to hands and knees. Take the legs over to one side. Walk the hands around. Make sure you've got your support to sit your bottom onto. And have the soles of the feet flat. Okay, let's just do a little bit of work for the lower back because we've done a lot of strength work today. Um, so we just want to make sure the pelvis feels good about it um, and just loosen it up. So take a breath in as you reach the tailbone backwards, almost like you're um, you're kind of pushing the bum the bum backwards. And as you breathe out, we're going to tuck the bottom in, round through the back. So we're taking a seated cat cow. Breathe in, lengthen through the body, lift through the crown of the head, and breathe out. Let's do two more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Last one. Breathe in. And breathe out. And come back to centre. Bending the left knee in, we're going to take the right leg out to the side. So still using our support underneath the hips. We're going to do exactly the same. If you need extra support, obviously grab yourself extra support. This right foot, it's up to you um, how it feels on this knee. So you can have the foot turned out or you can have it tucked inwards. Whatever feels more natural for your knee, everyone's different. So hands on the hips. We're just going to do those pelvic rolls again, but we're only going to work through the pelvis. We're not bringing the heart into this. We're not taking a seated cat cow. You could maybe imagine if you were laying on your back doing this, you were rolling a marble from your belly button down to the pubic bone, and then you're rolling that, pu that, that marble back from the pubic bone towards the belly button. And let's swap the legs over. So bring both soles of the feet flat onto the floor first. Take your time. It's easy for me because I'm not pregnant. So if I'm rushing, just pause me and come back when you get when you get to where you need to be. So again, left leg tucked back, use the support underneath your hips, make sure you are stable as well so you don't feel that you're gonna slip off. Hands onto the hips, take a breath in, breathe out, tuck it back in. Keep the shoulders soft, breathe in. And out. Three more, breathe in. And out. Last two. In. And out. And last one. And breathe out. Awesome. Okay, let's unravel the legs. And just give them a little shake out, rock from side to side. And we're going to come into a comfortable laying down position. So laying on your left hand side, grabbing a blanket over you if you need it, using the support that you've got available. So using support underneath the head, maybe a cushion in between the knees. Make sure you are comfortable, that's the main, the main thing. If you've got music on, you may want to just pop it off now, just for the singing bowls. Okay, 
So we're going to work on just following the breath with our um, for our relaxation. So as you're laying down, just make yourself as comfortable as possible. Clear any excess energy by breathing in through the nose. Holding the breath for just a second and sighing out through the mouth. And do that a few times, breathing through the nose. And out through the mouth. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. And just start to breathe naturally. Notice your surroundings. Notice any thoughts, any emotions you have at this moment. And practice welcoming and recognising and witnessing anything that you're aware of right now either internal or external. If you have an intention, repeat this intention a few times. Maybe you'd like to set one now for you and your baby for your family and yourself. Maybe you want to send gratitude out to wherever you feel that it's best deserved to go right now. Abandon any control of your breath. And simply notice your breath. Simply notice your breathing. Without changing your breath, feel as if you're breathing into your entire face. Now breathing into your entire head. Breathing into both arms. Breathe into the chest, your abdomen, down to your womb space. Breathe into your back, your pelvis, your legs, and your feet. Now breathing only the front side, into only the front side of your body. Feel as if your entire front side gets bigger with each breath. of your body and feel as if the back edge of your body gets bigger with each breath. Now breathe into the front side and breathe out to the back side. Breathe in through the back side and breathe out through the front. In through front, out through back, in through the back, out through the front. Your entire body is breathing now. Notice how you feel energy in this moment. Where in your body do you feel the energy? Are there colours?
connected to the way the energy flows or the way the energy feels in your body. Simply invite, acknowledge and observe any way that the energy manifests in this moment. Now bringing your attention to the floor of your pelvis, your pelvic floor. Notice the energy there. This is your first chakra, energy center. Energy center for stability, strength, stillness, sense of home, courage. And notice, notice this energy center and imagine a bright red glow. And picturing your favorite place on earth, a garden, a trail, or a beach. And now remember a time where you felt at home Notice how your energy feels in this moment. Always being home. Always being safe, settled. start observing the sounds within the space and outside of the space. Gently bring yourself back into your body. As soon as you hear the bell, bring yourself up to a seated position. Give the shoulders a roll. Feeling grounded. Feeling stable strong, able to stand tall, let's reach the arms up, take a breath in, kiss the hands into prayer and as you breathe out guide your prayer to your heart space, thanking yourself for your practice, may you be safe, may you be happy, May be healthy, may be peaceful. Namaste.